Hey there, awesome artists. Thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to do something really fun called a blind contour line portrait. So we're gonna be using contour lines, which are lines that define a form or an object. And we're gonna do this using a continuous line. So what a continuous line is, is you're gonna take the pencil or pen or whatever you're using, you're gonna be placing it on the paper and you're gonna be drawing, moving the pencil around and not lifting it until you're done. So it can be a little tricky because it's hard to, to prevent yourself from lifting up the pencil, but it's a lot of fun when you do this. For this activity today, you're gonna to need a piece of paper to draw on, a writing utensil of some sort. I'm gonna be using a pencil today. You can use pen, colored pencil, it's your choice. And then a paper plate. Now, I uh, I don't even know where I got these paper plates from. I don't eat on paper plates. I just got lucky and found them. But if you don't have paper plates, you could use cardboard. You can cut a large circle out of cardboard. You could use um, an old cereal box that um, you're done with. It doesn't matter what this is. It needs to be sturdier than just plain paper because what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking your pencil or pen and you're gonna be poking it through the center of the plate. What this is gonna do is gonna create a shield because if you remember I said blind contour, which means you can't look at what you're drawing. <laughs> Sounds tricky, right? Just wait, it's gonna be fun, trust me. Now, this is a shield. When you get this, you're gonna hold your pencil on your hand, get it comfortable. You're gonna be getting your paper and placing your pencil anywhere on the paper. So what you're looking, you're gonna need, obviously you're gonna need a mirror as well. If you're doing a self portrait, I'm not using a mirror. I don't have one except I guess the bathroom mirror, but I don't really wanna go draw in the bathroom. I guess I could. Uh, so what I'm using is the camera on my computer. So uh, get creative with how you're gonna look at yourself you could also do a portrait of a family member, have them sit in front of you and you could do their portrait, which would be a lot of fun too. So put your pencil to the paper and you're just gonna start drawing. Look at the lines that you have on your face, going around the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, and start drawing those lines. You're done when you lift your pencil off the paper. All right, let's get ready. You're gonna stay with me, right? I'm gonna be looking at myself this entire time and it's gonna be a little funny, but I have a blank piece of paper here, my writing utensil, and here we go. I'm gonna, I, there we go. All right, haven't started yet, here we go. <laughs> All right, go down. I always, when I do this, I forget to draw both eyes. I don't know why. So this time I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna draw that other eye. Now, trust me, it's gonna look a little wonky and that's okay, that's the fun part of it. I'm gonna come back around and do some hair. My shirt, my shoulder, and I'm done. All right, you ready? I think I forgot my eyes. <laughs> what do you think? Does it look like me? I think that was supposed to be an eye there, but I forgot. I said I was doing the eye on this side and I completely forgot. I still kind of like it. It's kind of fun. I did a pretty good job on the mouth there. All right. <laughs> now, if you don't like it, make another one. It's gonna be a little different looking, a little abstract looking, and that's okay. That could be what's super awesome about it. But try another one, why not? I think I'm gonna do that now. I've got a blank back here, I'm gonna try it again. See you later, guys. I cannot wait to see what you create.